Now, you know, I'm just a couple of weeks away from post-football depression like a lot <laughs> yeah, of guys. Me too. Yeah. Sean Clinch not helping me out at all. He's uh, leading with basketball. I'm sorry, but tomorrow, <laughs> the NFL championship <laughs> okay. games. Yeah, you have to give credit when credit is due. Rick Barnes and the Longhorns drastically improved on many fronts today. So much so that it took a major rally by the fourth-ranked team in the country to get back into the game. That's coming up next in sports. This is KVU Sports. Youth can be an issue. Rick Barnes has found that out in the toughest way possible. His young Longhorns have yet to figure it out since the Big 12 portion of the schedule began. But today, those youngins almost figured it out against fourth-ranked Kansas. Sheldon Excuse McClellan me, was not college. one of the starters. However, he came off the bench, and he did a lot of this. Yes, jam time. And he also did a little bit of... Yes, very nice. Three-point land. McClellan led the Horns with 18 points. Texas held KU to just 26 points in the first half, and they led by a deuce. Second half, the Jayhawks went on a 19-9 run late in the game and took the lead when Ben McLemore took the feet on the break and said he likes jam time. McLemore led Kansas with 16 points. KU escaped Austin with a 64-59 win. A tough loss for Texas. UT is now 0-4 in the Big 12. OU head coach Lon Kruger visited his alma mater, K-State. The Sooners trailed the Cats by 11 late second half, but made a run when Romero Osby drove the lane and dropped the floater. OU trimmed the deficit to only six, but K-State found a way to get their long-range shooters open like Angel Rodriguez. Oklahoma had no answer for that. Sooners fell 69-60. K-State and KU now share the top spot in the Big 12 at 4-0. Texas Tech found out firsthand all about the offensive weapons the OSU Cowboys have. In Stillwater, freshman Phil Forte dropped 19 points in the Red Raiders. And Tech had a front row seat for a jam session. That was LeBron Nash before halftime. Uh, yeah, the Red Raiders left the back door open. And Mark Pacquiao Brown said he believes he can fly. The Cowboys cruised to a 79 45 win. Around the Big 12, Iowa State won their third straight after knocking off the Horn Frogs by 13. And Baylor roughed up Harden Simmons in a non conference meeting 107 38. On the national scene, nobody wants to be number one. Now that was some serious stuffage. Syracuse's Michael Carter Williams still and stuff proved to be the game winner as the Orange knocked off number one Louisville on the road 70 68. Maybe Kansas will take over that top spot. Now Karen Ashton, the first year Texas women's coach, is experiencing the same issue as Rick Barnes, a young winless team in Big 12 play. A whiteout was waiting on the it's Texas ladies in Norman, thankfully not an Oklahoma blizzard, but UT's Chastity Fassell. Rain some threes and some crafty moves on the Sooners like that one. Fassell led Texas with 20 points today. Texas only trailed by six at halftime. They ended up losing their eighth straight final 69 54. Another loss with Youngins trying to lead Youngins. It is a little bit of one mistake and then another one makes, you know, then they correct it and then the next one makes a mistake. So it's we sometimes have a difficult time stopping the bleeding, which is what I thought happened tonight. Sad day in baseball. First Hall of Fame manager Errol Weaver passed away at the age of 82. Weaver will forever be remembered for his fiery attitude despite his five foot six inch frame. And earlier today, Stan the Man Musial, he passed at age 92. Now the video right here from 2011 when President Obama honored Musial with the Presidential Medal Freedom. Yes, Musial will forever be known as one of baseball's greatest hitters. The Hall of Famers, well, he died this evening at his home with his family. Let's try to hit the break on a positive note. Our highlight of the night was provided by Butler University student Kevin Schwartz. He had to sink one of those basketballs from half court on a limited time to win $18,000. Schwartz did it on the first attempt, and he did so on live TV. Pretty sweet. NFL playoff talk after the break. Pro football's final four will be whittled down to two after the AFC and NFC championship games tomorrow. Now, if you're an avid sports fan and passionate like the Alejandro family in Massachusetts, you can relate to their devotion. They are deeply rooted Patriot fans who gather each Sunday in their Patriot man cave. I think he married me just to get into the whole <laughs> Patriots <laughs> ticket. It's possible. <laughs> it's definitely possible. Yeah. We have four generations here, and like last week's game, um, 31 people at our tailgate party. 
Wow. Now I want to hear from you. Uh, what would be your ideal matchup in the Big Bowl? Falcons 49ers versus either the Patriots or the Ravens in the Super Bowl number four seven. Yes, XLVII it is now. All you have to do is tweet me. My handle is Sean C underscore cave you and 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 Bergamo I have to ask what what is your pick I want to put you on the spot well, right it's now. really easy for me it's I uh, as a diehard Saints fan I can't pull for the Falcons I'm sorry <laughs> yeah, They're I gone. I go 49ers I don't care who wins the AFC I'm pulling for Baltimore and yeah. uh, Ray Lewis I, I, I'm with you on Ray Lewis and on the NFC I could care less <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do care <laughs> well we got a bumbling burglar that you don't want to miss stay tuned for that video coming up next